So before we finish uh, 1.3, I wanted to show another way of uh, mapping multiple transformations. So in our previous page, uh, we you know go through all the trans all the transformations, uh, reminding you that the, uh, the the left and right and up and down should be done left, uh, and we see the shape change through each of the transformations. There's also a way that we can kind of mathematically using mapping to uh, do all of these at the same time. So in this chart here I put together a review of what all the A, B, H, and K do just one more time. So when we're talking about uh, the letter A here, so what A does is this is all it really does. It multiplies all the Y values by A. As a result of that multiplication, if A is negative, that's when you get a reflection over the x-axis. Uh, and at the same time, you get a stretch or a compression. And all of that is because the y values are being multiplied by a. So that's what happens. So in mapping notation, if you have, now this would be your, your parent function, that would be your original, uh, then that any point on the parent function gets mapped onto x comma a y. So you see what happened is that I took the y value here and I multiplied it times a. Similarly, now for the b value, and uh, you remember things that happen inside of the function, inside of here, it's kind of like you have to undo them. So here, uh, you know, things inside this function are being multiplied by b, so uh, we have to think, okay, to get the same result, we're going to have to divide x by b, all right? So um, here, oh, and I made an error, didn't I? So instead of y values being multiplied by this, we should change this. This should say the x values are being multiplied by 1 over b, okay? So um, if, if b here is 2, then we're going to be multiplying by 1 over 2. If b is a third, we're going to be multiplying by, now think about this, 1 over 1 third, right, which is the same thing as saying uh, multiplied by, instead of dividing by a fraction, we can multiply by the reciprocal. So this is the same thing as multiplying by 3. So you see this pattern pretty quickly. If, if b is 2, we're multiplying by half. If uh, b is a fraction, then we're going to be multiplying by that reciprocal. So in any case, um, we can say it to say that x value is being multiplied by 1 over b. So here's what happens. We get our um, x over b over here. So here we have the a, y. The next one is the h value. And again, it has it's inside the function. So two things, it's related to x. And also, it has sort of that opposite effect. So remember, whenever you see uh, the h value, if it's x plus 2, h is minus 2. If it's x minus 2, then h is 2, right? So it has that opposite of, uh, effect. And here's how we could map it. We could say, take your x values and add h to it. Uh, our last one is our k values. This is outside the function, so it affects y. And uh, you, it's a straight ahead. The y values are added by k. So here you see it when we map it. Okay, so if we put all this together here, how could we put all these four effects all together in one place? If we have, here's our generic, y is equal to a, f, b, x minus h plus k. So if we put all these effects together, let's see what would happen. Well, in our x thing, x has to get divided by b, and h has to be added to it. So if we start in our original function, any point, x comma y, that will get mapped onto x over b plus h. Okay, and now similarly for y, uh, what will happen, it'll get multiplied times a, and k will be added to it. So we get ay plus k. All right, so now let's use that uh, all-in-one mapping notation method here to graph this uh, y is equal to negative 3 f of negative x plus 1 plus 4. So it's the same one we looked at on the previous page. We still have to do that same step to 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 make uh, to factor out this b value. So we're going to write y is equal to negative 3 f of, and now I'm going to write negative x minus 1. Okay, so let's think about what our values are here. So my uh, my a value, uh, maybe I'll write them over here. My a value is going to be equal to 
negative 3. My b value is going to be equal to negative 1. My h, it's the opposite of that, so it's going to be equal to 1. And my k value is 4. All right. So in any original point, uh, x comma y on my graph, uh, on my parent, that's going to get mapped onto. I'm going to replace this b with a negative 1. So it's going to be x divided by negative 1, which is the same thing as saying negative x. Negative x, make my x a little nicer. Plus h, so plus 1. You know what, I can do better here. Um, do that one more time. So this is our negative x. And now plus h, so plus 1 comma, now a y, a is negative 3, so it'll be negative 3 y plus k, which is plus 4. Okay, so now let's go check out our points. Uh, I think 1, 2, 3, 4 points will do it, and then we'll just connect them afterwards. So my first point is negative 2, comma, negative 1. My second point is 0, comma negative 1. My third point is 2 comma 1. And my last point is 3 comma 0. All right, so uh, over here I'm going to get, this is going to, on my image now, will give me negative, negative 2, plus 1, comma, now looking at the y values, uh, negative 3, times this y, which is negative 1 plus 4, which is, now maybe I'll put another arrow here to, to simplify this. So negative negative 2 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. And over here, negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3, plus 4 is 7. Let's try the next one here. So we're going to have 0, uh, so negative 0, so it's still 0, plus 1 for my x value. For my y value, I'll get negative 3 times negative 1 plus 4, just like before. So now I will get 0 plus 1 is 1, comma, same y value, because my y value was the same before. Okay, so my 2 comma 1, uh, I'll get negative 2 plus 1, Comma. So now looking at my y value, negative 3 times positive 1 plus 4. And that will give me negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, comma, negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. My last one, negative 3 plus 1. And now I have a y value of 0, so actually it's 4. It's pretty easy to do. So that gives me negative 2 comma 4. Now all I have to do is put those points down and then plot them. So I have 3 comma 7, 3 comma 7 which is whoa 4, 6, 7 maybe up over there and then I have a 1 comma 7 which is over here and then I have a negative 1 comma positive 1 which is over here and then I have a negative 2 comma 4 negative 2 comma 4 so here's what my here's what it looks like afterwards if I try to draw this nicely oh if I had a ruler it would be better something like that there we go and we so we get our, our result and that is the same thing as going through each of those steps all at once well isn't that cool all right so I hope that was helpful